my name's Francis Pryor, and I'm an archaeologist. I'm quite well known for having discovered a site in Peterborough, a Bronze Age site in Peterborough called Flag Fen, and I've written lots of books about the archaeology of Britain, and I've done a lot of work for these people, for Time Team, 15 years worth of work, to be honest. But before I started all of that, I was actually a full-time working archaeologist. I actually got my hands dirty, I got my knees dirty, I used to get my nose dirty sometimes. Just digging. And I wasn't digging glamorous sites in places like Egypt or the Nile Valley or something like that. I was digging in even more glamorous places. Places like Eastern Industrial Area of Peterborough. And the sites I dug on and the sites I ran were peopled by what we called circuit diggers. I was a circuit digger. And it wasn't a glamorous life. We lived in old semi-abandoned houses, in tents, if we were lucky in ramshackle caravans. And then it came to me, why don't I recreate a circuit digger? Why don't I start writing stories about a circuit digger? And then I thought, well, how about some archaeological stories? And I thought about doing them, but, but none of them seemed to work. I was involved in an excavation where people were trying to pass off something which was phony as being archaeologically genuine. And that got me thinking. I thought, why, well, if they got away with this, um, they'd have made a fortune. And then it came down on a parachute that actually my memorial to circuit diggers, the stories I wanted to write, weren't going to be about archaeology directly. They were going to be about crime and people who commit crime and how crime becomes unstuck, becomes resolved by an archaeologist who applies genuine archaeological methods to uncovering crimes. But Alan Cadbury is a bit of a rebel. He is born out of the circuit and he's now operating in the world of early 21st century corporate archaeology with management plans, schedules that have to be stuck to, and targets. And Alan Cadbury thinks that targets suck. He loathes management, he loathes the corporate world and he's not very politically correct, and he doesn't make many friends. He's seen by people as being a loner, but he isn't. He's just actually very self-possessed. So if you want to read the world's first archeological thriller, come and pledge for the Lifers Club at unbound.co.uk.